What's up everyone, this is Bugshot33, aka Boss and Chris, back with a brand new video. Um, this is going to be my haul video from last Comic Book Wednesday. Um, picked up a few new books and a couple of back issues. Um, it's funny too, and I got something in the mail as well, so I figured I'd just, you know, put it all together and show what I got. So we'll start off with the new books. So first we have G.I. Joe, this is the uh, Real American Hero, this is from IDW, issue number 244. Um, this has an appearance of uh, Lady Snake Eyes. Um, if you, I mean, I, I'm actually kind of uh, behind on this. I, I haven't gotten into this um, this continuation, I guess. You could look at it from the numbering of um, the G.I. Joe Real American Hero series yet. And um, so what I've done is just kind of picked up a couple books here and there. Um, I guess this is either following the Death of Snake Eyes story or um, you know just introducing that new character. Um, for me, you know, I, I like it. You know, Snake Eyes is one of my favorite characters as far as uh, G.I. Joe's. He's my favorite Joe. I think I think he's the best one. He's really really cool, and um, you know, uh, just thought it was really sick to see a new character. I mean, you know, you don't see many new characters in the G.I. Joe universe. So, because, I mean, it's been kind of, you know, just antiquated it's from the 80s. But I um, picked up number 245, so there's a nice cover appearance of, um, you know, we got uh, Lady um, Snake Eyes. And uh, 246 is going to be like a full out cover appearance of her, so I got to get that when it comes out next month. Um, but again, um, you know... I figured I'd just go, ahead, go back and check it out. The storyline before this one is Death of Snake Eyes, so I had to check that one out just to see what happens. Um, if I can get my hands on it. My local shops have been kind of... Um, I don't know. It's been tough to find those. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm just going to have to keep looking and see what I can get. Um, may have to, you know, go to eBay, you know, eventually. But, you know, it's not a big deal for now. It's just something that I'm interested in. Something that I hope that I um, am able to pick up. But next up, we got... Old Man Logan, number 30. Um, this is a good series from uh, from Marvel. Like I've been following it for a long time. Um, if you guys have been watching my house, you know I've been collecting it from the get-go. Um, pretty cool cover. You got Wolverine and Hawkeye. Um, you know, it's, like I said, it's a very good storyline. Um, as you know, like if you read the original Old Man Logan, um, Hawkeye is a part of the story along with Old Man Logan, so they're pairing these two like, up again. Um, I heard that there was talks to do an Old Man Hawkeye story, but um, yeah, I don't know too too much about that. It's kind of like just a rumor I heard, um, kind of floating around uh, from other YouTubers and stuff like that. But um, you know, who knows? If they do, it'd be pretty cool. But um, moving on, we have another series that's actually been really really good. Um, this is Batman White Knight. Um, you know, as far as everything's concerned, this is a really solid book. This is a really well done story. It's um, made by uh, Sean Murphy, same guy who did Tokyo Ghost. Um, art is really good. The story is awesome. Um, if you haven't picked this up yet, or if you haven't um, started, go back and get issue one and this one as well. Great stuff in this one. Um, you know, and, and it's it's three ninety nine, so it's not gonna kill you. Um, Definitely a good story, and I think it's a limited series. Um, it's only eight, only eight issues, so definitely worth picking up. Um, you know, if you're a Batman fan. If not, you know, no problem. But next up, we have Batman number 34, and this is the variant cover. Um, I like this one. It has the Justice League on it. it has the um, you know Justice League from the movie on it. So you can see, you know, the Gal Gadot inspired um, Wonder Woman. Jason Momoa with the five point trident, which isn't really a five, it's not a trident. It's a five point, it's basically a pitchfork at that point, but that's alright. Um, and then, you know, you can see the flash. Um, so this one, uh, who the hell did this one? I forget who did the cover on this one, but it's, you know, just kind of leading up to it. But really awesome cover out on this one. Like, like I actually like that they had, um, you know, that they are doing this. Um, the, the original cover wasn't as good. I mean, I had to I had to go with this one because this is really really nice. Um, again, Batman Rebirth has been a really really strong story. Definitely one that you should be picking up if you're a fan of Rebirth. Um, and then next up, my other um, big pick for Rebirth, uh, Green Lanterns. This is number thirty four. This has been a great story all the way through. Again, um, this is another um, 
uh, the variant cover. Um, I don't know. I think they switched artists on this. Um, I think they switched over to a different cover artist. But they've been really good covers as of late. Um, I, I've enjoyed a lot of the covers for, you know, both, actually. Um, in the beginning, the variant covers for um, Batman was Tim Sale doing the art. Um, I don't, I forget who does the art on this one. I'll have to look it up and, and just, um, you know, get, like, the next uh, issue, which comes out basically in two weeks. I'll have to check it out and, and see who's doing it. But, like, the covers have been really, really good for those. Um, the stories are awesome. Um, I don't know... I think they're up to graphic novel number two or three of um, both. I'm um, just collecting, um, you know, the first, like, I think it's like five issues a piece. So definitely pick those up because they're really good. It's either five or ten issues, but they're really good. Um, they have really tight storylines where it's just basically, um, they let you know if you get the regular covers, what story they're on, what pot it is that they're on, and everything like that. So um, definitely good titles for Rebirth. I, I always, you know, go ahead and give those a shout. Um, so next up, I guess I'll show the stuff that I got from, uh, got online, got on eBay, um, so got this in the mail and it's actually really cool. I'm able to actually, and it's funny too that it comes, um, you know, at this point, so I'm able to actually, um, say that I have the complete, uh, well, sorry, not well, the complete Planet Hulk. Um, I actually got myself issue number 92, that's the only one I was missing, um, so I have 88 through 92, which is the um, when they blast Hulk away, and then um, when he lands on the planet, um, and then you know the, the whole resolution of the story for when it blows up, the uh, ship blows up, and everything like that. Um, but this is the this is a second print. Yeah, this is. Oh, I'm sorry. This is just the variant of it. It's not a second print, but it's a, it's a variant edition, not the original. The original is him standing with the shield, and um, you see a bunch of tentacles coming at him. I would like to get that first print. Um, you know, that, that, that regular just first cover, but at some point I, I will, I just can't do it right now. It's really popular because of the Thor movie, but, um, you know, by the way, I saw that this weekend, very good. So go check it out if you haven't already. Um, next I one, um, di different lot of comics here. Um, this is, um, a lot of X Factor comics. So yeah, X Factor number 15. Um, as you can see, there's like, it was either like, uh, some type of thing got on the cover, whether it's a sticker or gum or something made a mock on the cover. Um, if not for that, this would be um, in really good shape. I don't know how I'd be able to get that off. Um, probably not be able to get it off. Um, unless somebody has some idea of any sort of cleaning services or anything like that that I can check into. Um, I do have another copy of this, so that's not a total loss. Um, but that's fine. Um, next up, we have issue number 16. And you can see a little bit of that green on there as well. So, um, you know, at some point I'll probably be looking to get a, you know, different or better copy of that. But overall, not too bad. Uh, continuing on, number 17. And um, these are really cool because there's a lot of uh, Walt Simonson art in here. Like, he did, he did this run for a while. Number 17. And this one's nice and clean. There's no, I mean, sorry, the, number 18. Nothing uh, crazy on this one. But, yeah, pretty good. Uh, number 19, so this is, uh, I think, the first appearance of the Horseman of Apocalypse. So, really cool stuff there. Um, got number 20. So, um, you know, I'm not sure who this guy is that's beating up on this other one. But, pretty cool there. Uh, 21. Let's see. This is a different kind of like uh, so. X Factor is all well done here. It's like the styles of this cover are the big machines coming down to fight them. Um, then we got uh, issue number twenty-two, and I'm not sure who that girl is. Um, I don't think it's Dazzler. It might be Skids. I think that's Rusty and Skids. Pretty sure. Um, then you get this next one here, number twenty-three. Now this is the first cameo of Archangel. Um, so in number 15, um, Angel is recovering from um, getting his wings clipped when he was out, down in the Morlocks. Um, he, was down, he was down in the Morlock chamber, uh, the Morlock tunnels I should say, and um, they, they basically um, pinned his wings to like two big hooks and injured him, like, like basically um, 
destroyed his wings, he could never fly again. So he's recovering, and um, what happens is that he, while he's in the hospital, he um, gets in the ship and starts flying off, and it blows up. So you think he died. And um, basically, like, like they thought that he, um, you know, was killed in that accident. Come to find out that, um, you know, he had sought out Apocalypse. Apocalypse changed him, gave him the metal wings, turned him into the Angel of Death. And, um, you know, the rest is history. He had the blue skin and all the rest of it. Um, so just really, really cool, um, you know, book to have. Um, and so, you know, just definitely happy to have those in my collection, um, you know. Continuing with that run, I, I'm not sure how how deep I want to go into X Factor. Um, I, I think I might go for like the first 50 or so like that. Like I have I have a bunch of other ones, but um, it's when the t team changed over and it was like um, Alex Summers and Polaris and Strong Guy and, and stuff. So it's a different team completely. But um, you know this these first issues with the original team, pretty cool stuff. Um, so next up get some books that I got. Um, these, these are just some back issues that I scored while I was in my local shop. And um, what happened was that they got the, they got a hold of a um, big collection, I guess, um, a couple of weeks ago. And it was down in um, the southern part of the state. And so what happened was that I guess they've broken it up and given it to a bunch of different stores. And so, um, you know, they went ahead and put these in um, the bins that they have over there. And what happened is just that um, they, they have a deal where basically... Um, they have this five dollar bin, and um, if you get ten books, then you get them for three dollars each, which isn't bad. Ten plus books, three dollars each. Um, and what they do is they have a buyer incentive. So if you spend a certain amount of money um, within a certain amount of time, they give you a little card to fill up. And every time you fill one up, you get uh, at least five dollars. The five dollars, fifteen, or twenty-five, depending. And, and for each, you know, for each level, you have to spend a certain amount of money. Um, so I had. Three or four. I actually had three of them together, so I basically was able to get these all for half off, which is awesome. So, um, starting off, we have Usagi Ojimbo number four. Um, really cool cover. I like, you know, he's in the samurai armor and everything, and then they have a little um, penguin on the back. Pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna have to put these in, um, you know, different bag and board. Um, these have that dreaded uh, clear tape that really is just like tough to um, get off. Um, one year putting it onto new books. Um, also picked up issue number five, another really cool cover. Um, so right now I have um, issue number one, I think uh, six and eight. So so far I have one, four, five, six, and eight. You know, working getting two and three, and you know hopefully like you know getting a pretty decent run started for him. Um, that, that's a run that I'm gonna collect slowly. I'm not gonna go crazy with it. Wasn't ready for the water to kick on that kind of. <laughs> that startled me a little bit, but that's all right. Um, next up, we have, um, and this is the book I picked up just because it, it just looked like fun. Um, got ourselves Marvel Team Up number uh, 131. This is the first appearance of um, the White Rabbit, and it's not like it's any kind of crazy one. Um, it says right here, the story is not for the overly serious. Which is really cool because, you know, I, I like that out of it because it's just a fun way to be able to, um, you know, pick up some books. It's, it's good to have some of those, um, you know, not-so-serious titles that you can have some fun reading. Um, but next, picked up um, some X-Men books. So we have X-Men. This is number 158. This is the third appearance of Rogue and I think our first appearance in the X-Men. So pretty cool. Um, I don't know exactly what number it is that she joins the team, but um, I'll be picking that up at some point. Uh, next up, we got issue number 179. This is the first appearance of Leech, um, and he's basically been put into a shotgun wedding with uh, Kitty Pride. She's crying. She does not want to marry Leech. Oh, no, that's sorry. That's not Leech. That's Caliban. Sorry, completely messed that up. Uh, so first appearance of Caliban. Not the first appearance, what am I saying? Wow, I am so off. Alright, get first appearance out of your full vocabulary. This is Caliban, and he's going to marry uh, Kitty Pride, and she's not happy about it. There we go. <laughs> I don't know why, like, you know, I have, I have this thing where I really just, um, Leech and Caliban. I don't know why I confuse them all the time, but I always do. And I keep, you know, the, the thing about them is just that, um, you know, Caliban just has 
those big bug eyes. That's the easiest giveaway, and I always mess that up. So for my entire life, I've always looked at them like, oh, yeah, it's Leech, but it's not Leech. It's, I mean, there's still Morlocks, which is great, but it's Caliban. Caliban, Caliban, Caliban. All right. I have his first appearance, too. It's, um, I think, Uncanny X-Men 148. It's in the 140. It's either 148 or 149. Spider-Woman's on the cover. I have it. And, he, and he's in a trench coat. So, moving on. <laughs> um, next up, we have issue number 162. Um, this is just a Wolverine solo story. Pretty cool. Um... I'm not 100 percent sure if um, he's in the um, the Fang outfit in this one or not. I have to open it up and read it. I've never read this book. I've only seen it before. So got the brood, you know, basically eating his head or whatever it is. But um, you know, really cool. Um, you know, Dave Cockrum um, you know, with Bob Wycheck. Um, You know, that's a lot of the appeal of some of these covers. Um, you know, in that you know 160s, 150s range. Is that you know you get these Bob Wycheck covers that are just really really nice. I'm sorry, the David Cockrum and, and the Wycheck covers, really nice stuff. Really really just cool. Um, so next we have, and this is the last X Men book in this run. Um, we have issue number one sixteen, um, and this one here is done by John Byrne. Really cool looking cover right here. Um, John Byrne and Terry Austin. Um, I've always liked this one. They're getting burnt at the stake. Pretty cool looking stuff here. Um, you see, was it, uh, Colossus, Banshee, and I'm not sure who this other one is here, but, um, looking at this, um, uh, this is the first, so this is the issue where you discover Wolverine has a mutant healing factor, so that's a pretty cool issue to have, um, and then with that, um, I also picked up another issue in the John, sorry, not the John, but the uh, Frank Miller run of uh, Daredevil. So you got this one here, number 191. Um, I always like this one. It kind of looks like a statue on this. It's almost like um he's like been bronzed. So pretty cool. And next up we have First Parents. So this is pretty cool. Um, this actually is, this book here is actually what made me go through the bin in the first place. I was just looking through it and I was like, eh, because... You know, sometimes they have stuff, sometimes they don't. And then I was looked at this, I was like, whoa, I can't believe I got this. So, this is um, Astonishing Tales number 25. This is the first appearance of Deathlock. Really, really cool. Um, super happy to have this. So, you know, um, it's in really good shape. Um, it's got a little bit of spine roll, you can tell, right there. Um, so, may look to um, see if I have, uh, you know, somebody... That can let me know how to, you know, get that out and try to get the book back to, um, you know, kind of just get the spine back in order here. But definitely a cool book to have, you know, in really good shape. And then next, we have another first appearance, which is debatable because, uh, you know, depending on who you talk to or depending on who you go with, um, this is either a cameo or first appearance. But have Strange Tales number 180. This is the first appearance or and or cameo. Of Gamora, so really, really cool to have seen this in the box. Um, I have uh, issue number 181, um, which is her first, I guess, uh, full appearance or second appearance, how they used to say it. Um, this one, you know, definitely you, you can see um, has a couple issues with the spine, some ticks, but not overall not bad. Um, a pressing would do this a lot of justice. Um, I would say if it, this got pressed out, it'd probably be around uh, 7.5 to an 8. Right now, it's probably about a 6.5, you know, just with the, um, with the different, um, I guess, like, defects and stuff. But a lot of the good stuff with it is that there's not a lot of color breaking um, creases or anything like that in it. So, really cool book to have. Really excited when I saw this. Um, and just happy that I got them for half off. So, I basically, I paid for half of those books. I only paid 15 bucks to get all those. So, that's pretty cool. Super happy with that. So, that's been my haul for the week. I want to thank everybody for watching. Um, again, it's been Buckshot33, a.k.a. Boss and Chris, and I am out. Everybody have a great week. See you guys later.